Just shouts. No, if you big head me, I'll shout. Alright. I'm Shingo from Tokyo Hackerspace, and uh, I'm uh, traveling around uh, many countries, hackerspaces, and uh, my. Uh, let me. Sh uh, I'm, today I'm from Shenzhen. I had a presentation at C Studio, so I want to do the same thing in this hackerspace too. Let me explain about myself. And uh, I have a. I'm running a small company with my wife, only two members, and uh, it runs about seven years, and I uh, have many things to do it. And let me explain myself. And, uh, my company's name is named Balma in Japanese. It means uh, why, uh, because I made a mumper aircraft in my university, wow. like this. Yes. Oh. Wingspan is more than 30 meters and the weight is less than 30 kilograms. Uh, you wow. can, I think you can see wow. the pilot inside in the cycling. Yeah. Were you inside? Yes, inside after you can see it. <laughs> the pilot is cycling inside. Ah, cycling, yes. We use a stock of ski for propeller and uh, carbon pipe for bone of the airplanes and some insulation boards for to form the Whoa. wing. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is a test flight. It's very really important to change the setting, tune the settings, and uh, yes, it's a test of handling. Turn right and turn left and coming back to the airplane. And, uh, this and the safe landing. Wow. Yes. Uh, it's really about ten years before I made it. Join join this team, and uh, we, I flew exactly not me, but uh, our team flew over one thousand. Thirteen hundred meters. Got seven meters. Yes. That's reason why. Titanium. <laughs> Actually, wings. Hang on. Titanium. Sorry, it's, it's flown that far. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 And this is a DNA amplifier, open, totally open sourced and uh, originally invented by the Americans three years before and it's not so productive or so much in these eight years. So I succeeded to make my own. Uh, what is a DNA amplifier? DNA amplifier, let me show some. Uh, it should be more than four thousand dollars, also, right? <laughs> it, isn't BioRat makes let me like? You can draw on the board. Here, uh, Yeah. Yeah. So, would you turn on the lights on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can write on the slide. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the top switches. Yeah. As you know, the DNA is made by twisting with two strings, and there's some A, T, G, C up here, and maybe here. A, T, and G, C up here. And uh, only one DNA is not enough to make some many experiences. For example, is it a new species, or does this DNA has a this disease or something? Is he my son? <laughs> is he my son? Also for, is he, is he my son, or...? Uh, yes, 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 it's really important. Uh, for example, that's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very important. Crime detection, is it a spy, uh, is it a... Bad guy or good guy? Is it the same guy, same person? <laughs> uh, the, so the only one DNA is not enough. It has to be amplified for two million times about to make some hundreds experiences. But uh, it's very really difficult to make. Uh, uh, the structure is not so difficult. Just heating up at uh, the 95 uh, degrees in Celsius, it separates. So this is one is separated, and uh, we add. In this tube, not only one DNA, but some enzymes, so called the polymerase, like the robot, robot hmm. to make the specific pair of the DNA. It works on the opposite side too, and make some pairs. And uh, uh, sorry, you have to uh, at 90 degrees is totally separated More and the key. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay. 
Can somebody help him with a different yeah, marker? That's okay, that's okay. We'll, we'll, uh, don't worry. Oh, we'll, we'll clean that later. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> later, later. No, we'll do it. Just heating up and uh, after spreading it out, and uh, keep, we have to cool it down at this uh, specific temperature so that the enzyme can work as it best performs. And it works to, uh, to create the pair opposite side of the DNA. And uh, eating the banana, the pair also separated at the 95 degrees. And uh, keeping 55 degrees. The peer or peer are also generated. Like this. Hmm. Then what happens if I, we call it as a cycle, heating a cool, just heating a cool. And after 30 or 40 cycles, the specific parts, these parts, will be multiplied, amplified for about a million times. And we can make uh, many experiments for only one. DNA, so it's really necessary. Uh, it cannot be it, uh, all the DNA experiments cannot be done without these amplifiers. So it's really important, but it's so expensive, about four thousand dollars US dollars. So only university or some specific uh, laboratory can buy it. Not for schools, junior high school and high school students, including me, and I think you. I've never uh, made experience in high schools such a, in about DNA, but uh, it's not so difficult. So I made it so by myself, and uh, it first price is about four hundred dollars, and uh, I think it can be used in every uh, Japanese and other country, uh, other schools. Yes, let me continue. It. Yes, I went to the national. I already sold uh, eight pieces to the National Science Center in Kuala Lumpur and. Uh, uh, on my way back to, to Andy, switch up the light. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Let me take, uh, so I, I'm, I'm uh, aircraft makers and biotechnology makers. Let me introduce some other hacks I made. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. good. Uh, because uh, I'm running, uh, my company is uh, originally a software company. We're developing um, some web services for clients but it's sometimes boring to make some only softwares because I made a Minecraft aircraft uh, so I wanted to make something physical <laughs> as you know uh, so I made some applications about space yeah now this is an argument reality satellite find I call it uh, this is shows uh, yeah uh, synchronized this and sounds my phone over there but uh, yeah, it shows a yellow line over there, and it shows when the space yeah, can station can be one. seen with your naked eyes next time. I think there's a movie here, not here. It shows a yellow line like this, and uh, many, ah, uh, yes, the, the bright star moving. It's a space station. It sh appears as a yellow line shows. Wow. It's really beautiful. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, so please try it. You can see the yellow lines here. Right here. Uh, let me pass it on. Yeah, it can show some, not only satellite, but uh, we show some stars, galaxies. And the flag shows uh, cities through yes, if you Mecca. Yeah, see <laughs> okay. uh, down, down side. And we also have a website for free. Uh, it's used as a Google Street View as a, as if it's a, like an argument reality. Yeah. It's free, but the application I sell, about it's about 2.5 US dollars and 50,000 people are using it. Uh, so it's uh, not so enough, but uh, it's a really nice business for such a small company like us. And uh, so, so I'm software engineer. Let me show the Kinect hats now. Uh, here's my friend. <laughs> Connect loops, they call it, and uh, yes, uh, but it's really difficult to work. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> My wife, I 
is also a program, and she wrote uh, this program in three days, and uh, it's so, but uh, it's really difficult. Because it's okay for 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 your wife to write this program. <laughs> <laughs> She said to me not to mention about her very size. <laughs> yeah, but it's oh, really no. difficult. We have to show some vertical boobs here, but not only showing it. Uh, we have to detect the front or back, and we have to make a physical simulation because the boobs must not be fixed. <laughs> and um, uh, we catch the up a texture of the crosses and paste it on the surface of the boobs and we it's some friction detection is the most difficult thing I mean. hand and arms and uh, friction. What was your inspiration for making this? What was your inspiration? I have a case. Yeah, it's uh, useful for the multiple persons at the same time for example. <laughs> <laughs> you're not good. You're not good on YouTube. All right. All right. So I was gonna put it on YouTube and send it to somebody, but I, have, I might have to edit it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I, we are software engineers. I'm not measuring. Uh, I measure physics in Tokyo University, and I've never measured electronics before. But uh, it's really interesting that to use uh, Arduino or something as uh, open source hardware to connect software with a hard hardware. It's really Inter interesting and uh, uh, interesting things can be done. For example, uh, this is also my wife's hack, and she's now flying in the Google Earth, but she is not working, uh, she doesn't use keyboard, but the bicycle machines. Oh. Uh, her rotations, the bicycle machine defines the high height, height of the flying point, and uh, he puts, uh, she puts a uh, 3D accelerator on her chest. And she can handle to right or left by just leaning towards the right and left. So you have the K usual KD sensor, so the bicycle shops, and it's very easy to use. And oops, oops uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it's really old, has about three or six years, so there's no Arduino yet uh, in Japanese market, so I should use a pick or something like that. Mm. And uh, yes, let me show her project. She did wrote all programs using night. For example, uh, yes, she is now still flying in front of the ship opera house in Sydney. It's really cool. And wow. uh, yes, also flying above the cities. And uh, as I said, the rotation relates to the height. So we can jump up the waterfalls or Nile any keyboard emulation so she's now cycling in Paris in Google Studio <laughs> and her uh, flash emulators and uh, yes it's a little bit old hack so the, we can recycle in second life too and uh, yes we connect the uh, space applications to it and uh, leaving the earth by us and uh, now she is flying above the Google Mercy. <laughs> this is the Olympus Islands, the tallest mountain in this solar system. Far, uh, far, uh, far, uh, leaving the galaxy. Yes, anyway, we can fly. Yeah. And uh, this is also my hack. Uh, so I know where the space station is now. So I connected it to Arduino and uh, moved the laser beam like this to towards the space station. First, I used a free 3D model soft to do the SketchUp. In these days, I'm using the oldest free ones to use. And, uh, but, of course, it's really difficult for Arduino to calculate where the space station is too much for what 8 bit <laughs> So, I connected it first to with Android to do it, but it's here is still too difficult for Android to calculate the, such a complex space calculation. So the calculation is done at the AWS cloud servers and we get the data by my own APIs and cache it at the Android and sometimes send it to the Android uh, Arduino via Bluetooth. So wirelessly it connects and uh, 
So the RDM circuit itself is really simple, only two servos. So it can be done on use the usual universal boards and I cut some things. And it's done, yes. And How powerful is the laser? Uh, five milliwatts. <laughs> it's too dangerous to steer into it. Before you close your eye, or if you get blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I cannot say it's just a hobby, but uh, mm -hmm. the, the laser module are inside the water pipes here, and it can be, there's uh, two servos under here, and there's only you can see it, and other ones. So we can point at any point of the upper spheres, and it's not so look pretty, so I covered it up, all followed by wooden boards, and spread it as if it's a stone, and uh, taking <laughs> outside, uh, turn up. Is that legal? <laughs> <laughs>